So hi, I'm Crystal Meach with Dow of the Heart, and this is Carol Witt, my first hi. podcast. <laughs> and um, I want to talk all about Carol's story today. Um, I met her, gosh, has it been a couple weeks now? Mm -hmm. And um, I was a woman, I've been through divorce and um finding my way in career, in my career, relationships, and finances. And I'm here to help other women. Um, so let's dive in and talk about Carol's background. Like, how did you get started as an entrepreneur? Hmm. Okay, so for me, I've been an entrepreneur for 30 years, a little over 30 years now, I think. Um, I have a degree in um, in clinical psychology, and I mm, I stayed in the field for about six years. Didn't like it. It just wasn't for me. And my family was not supportive in me doing anything else. I got to school. They wanted to see me do this, and uh, they were not a fan of me going in another direction. But I knew, for my own sanity, I needed to make a change. So, and, you know, inside of the frustration of being in something I didn't like, um, I gained a lot of weight. I gained almost a hundred pounds and I was very, very small person for my size. Um, and so, but, but it, that really showed me that was like a red flag for me that I wasn't happy and that this was going to be my life and I didn't want it. So I went and joined the gym and I lost a hundred pounds in about seven months. Wow. And I loved, I loved um, being able to see those kinds of results working with people. And I loved who my trainer was. I got a trainer. I loved who my trainer was. And I was like, ah, this is what I want to do. I want to be a licensed personal fitness trainer. So I went back to school. I got my, um, my licensed personal fitness training certificate and um and then i had a couple of clients that were coming to me and saying hey do you want to do this in a, like home gyms and i said hmm, okay i'll you know take a look and he said well you know we live in the pink streets and we have lots of doctors back here lots of cpas lots of lawyers and they all have home gyms and that was the beginning of my entrepreneurial experience. So I did that for mm, about 10 years. And then more doors opened and more doors opened. And pretty soon I was running four businesses. <laughs> so oh. so that's, that's my story. I feel like we're skipping here. Yeah. <laughs> Slow down. Here. I ran and really and truly, I struggled for the first two years. Um, Crystal in being an entrepreneur because I had nobody in my corner, nobody believing I could do it, nobody supporting me in any way, shape, or form, all pretty much naysayers. So and, I struggled. And so what what did you do to overcome that? Because I think I I know that like I'm dealing with that certainly oh. right now. My family is like, you're an accountant. You're meant yes. to make <laughs> <laughs> want to keep you where they think you should be not where it makes you the most happy yes and, and um and you have to you have to be happy for yourself that is one thing i've learned you okay. know if you're passionate about something follow your passion there's nothing that says you can't make money doing what you love and okay. what you're passionate about no so um well, for me, I knew I was like a lone wolf. And I knew that if I was really and truly going to mm, grow my business um, and believe in myself, I knew I had to have some people that believed in me. So I started rallying some people and sharing with people um, what I was doing and how I, you know, had left my field of of training and gone into something else and they applauded me I found out there were other people out there that thought that was amazing that I would leave what um I was 
I, you know, I was trained to do and go into something else and have it be very risky, take a risk. And um, so I found some people and I said, and it just made such a difference that I had some people that believed in me. And so, um, so yeah. did you have, did you go to like a networking group or did um, no. show up at the gym? I, how did I you... reached out to some other entrepreneurs. Okay. When, entrepreneurs that I knew were doing their own thing. And I reached out to some and really and truly just ask if we could like kind of create a group, you know, that we could check in with one another. And back then there was no internet. <laughs> it was a phone. Okay. <laughs> sure. But I did reach out to some other women that I knew were business owners or and business entrepreneurs. And, um, and I found a group that um, wanted, they wanted support as I wanted support. And so did they have similar stories to you? Mm, theirs were very, very different. Um, they were pretty much entrepreneurs from the beginning. Okay. <laughs> they, they were like, I want to create this business. I want to run this business. And, um, and, you know, they, they didn't have to go six years and hate what they were doing. And gain a hundred pounds <laughs> in the process. Um, but wow. they were entrepreneurs and they had really entrepreneurial spirits. I didn't know what an entrepreneur was. I just knew I did not want to do what I was doing. And um, once you went to the gym and you knew, hey, you know, there's this idea of doing it in people's homes, like, how did you start to get the clients that you needed? Um, they honestly, honestly, the doctor and his son that, and his wife that I was already working, doing work with, they just put the word out that they had a personal trainer coming to their home gyms. And I just started getting phone calls and started getting people wanting to have me come and work them out. And, um, and I shared they knew I was struggling with going on my own. They knew what I had done because I shared it with the doctor and his uh, wife, what, what I was doing. And they said, you know what? Let us help you. That's, that's really great that you are doing this. Let us help you. And that's really and truly what happened. They started sharing it everywhere. And so it was really about you stepping up and being vulnerable mm -hmm. and stepping into yeah. you know, your new path. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And one of the things I learned from all of it is this. You can't keep the things that you're doing and up to and dealing with in your head. Nobody hears any of that. Only you. <laughs> only yeah. you but if you start sharing it which is what I did with the doctor and his wife the door started opening because he knew my story then and then the story is what resonated where they wanted to help you yeah yeah because I told them I was struggling with it I didn't know if I was an entrepreneur I you know I'd only gone to school I only knew that I didn't know anything else so yeah but but I found that if you don't keep it inside and you speak it, there are other people that come and say, hey, I have a resource for you. I can help you with that, you know? Okay. And that's how and that's how I, I built YEA. Okay. And because you said that there was like four businesses that you then started. Was YEA one of them or later? Way okay. later. Mm -hmm. So I, I run four businesses right now, but it was yeah. way, way later that I took on more businesses and more businesses. Yes. And, and I've been running four businesses for uh, probably at least seven years. Yeah. Okay. Um, Can yeah. you talk a little bit about those businesses? Like, sure. yeah. absolutely. So, so one of the things that I created back in 2014, um, I knew I, I started mentoring other mentors, uh, uh, other entrepreneurs. Okay. I started mentoring other entrepreneurs, but one-on-one. -on -one. And I was like, how can I 
make a difference for more than one-on-one. I only have so much of my calendar, okay? So (laughs) I was looking to see how can I make a difference for more? And that's when I created YEA, Young Entrepreneurs Alliance. And um, and then in 20, and we were meeting face-to-face, okay? And then in 2019, uh, there was such a demand to invite their friends, the students to invite their friends from York and Washington and all over the place. And, um, and so I decided to go online. So I hired a consultant to teach me how to bring it all online and, and take it and create all the, uh, all the systems that you have to manage around having an online course like that. And, um, and so 2019, we went online and we've been online ever since. And this program, I declared, hmm, I declared six, five years ago, five years ago that I was going to touch 1 million entrepreneurs in creating a thriving mindset. And, uh, you know, it has really expanded. This is my last year to be able to make that happen. So I've got a year to make that happen. And so, where are, where are you at right is my now? year. 2024 is my year. It's my last okay. year to make that happen. And many, many things have happened inside of YEA. But one of our pillars is declaration. And I declared three years ago in the North America course that I was going to go global. And Crystal, I had no clue how that was going to happen. None. But I just knew that was our direction. That's what I wanted to do. Plus, it was going to support my other declared action, which was to reach 1 million entrepreneurs. And so when I declared that, I spoke it, I put it out there. My head coach, Keith Sims, says he declared he's going to Africa. And I said, Keith, find me entrepreneurs over there. And he did. And now we're in 30 three countries in Africa. Wow. We are global. We are in Germany. We are in India. We are in New Zealand. We are in Australia. Um, We are in the British Virgin Islands. We are, it just goes on and on and on. So I have students from all over and it took me declaring it. Okay. To open that door because he would never have known I wanted to go global and I would not have known if he hadn't declared he was going to Africa to help me to open that door to Africa. So yeah, it's, it's really a powerful, powerful program. Okay. And so it seems like you declare something and then like, you just kind of let it go. Mm, Not quite. Not quite. No. Because, you know, declaring doesn't mean it's just magical. It just drops in your lap. What okay. it means is you take actions to move it forward, to keep it, to keep moving forward toward that. And so there were actions that I started really actually taking in reaching out to different people and finding out who they know. Um, but then Keith, like I said, he said, I'm going to Africa. And I said, wow find me entrepreneurs over there. And he did, he came back and connected me with somebody. And she is now my Africa director for YEA. Okay. Um, And then you said that you have three other businesses. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. So um, I run a social media agency and I have three people that contract for me. Then I have a general manager that really kind of manages all of that. I'm a consultant for for corporations that are building um, social media directors in house. I consult with them. Okay. And then um, I was I just recently stopped being a web designer, and then I just took on a Vini Health, and it's all about you know you got to have your health to be an entrepreneur, right. And so they all go really hand in hand with one another. I think that's interesting how you kind of learned that in the beginning. And you were actually in healthcare. 
in psychology. Yeah. <laughs> The but mind. It, the total tool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I will tell you this too, Crystal. I use my training, my my schooling all the time inside of all that I do in in my different businesses. So it didn't it didn't go to waste. It didn't um, you know, it wasn't useless. Um, I encourage people to go to college because of the experiences that you get and the growth that you have and it might not be the thing that you move forward in but I encourage people to go to college um it just what I chose wasn't for me what and I, you might not know but um what are some common um attributes that you find in people that come in contact with you Mm. Wow. Great question. Um, okay. So uh, inside of white yay, I run a leadership program. Okay. So I train leaders, bold leaders. So what hap- what I find is people will, their leadership will be shown during the 10 week course and it'll kind of rise to the top and you will see the greatness in them. And so I look for, and and that is what I do. I look for the greatness in people. And I look for what I'm looking for in leaders in my YEA program, because I have coaches. It's a coaching program. So everybody has a coach for 10 weeks in this program, actually nine weeks, because my first classroom is just really an introduction for them to choose powerfully to move forward with us for the next nine weeks. So they have, but they have a coach the whole nine weeks of the journey um, that has them win. And, and I call coaches partners. They're partners in you getting what you say you want in this program. So you're not doing it by yourself, ever doing it by yourself. And And so I look for those kinds of things in people. Um, I look for somebody that will step out and take things on and see things for themselves they didn't see before. I look for people that will raise their hand and share and be vulnerable in the classroom. I look for um, people that, uh, you know, know they when they share, they make a difference. A lot of people don't think they make a difference when they share, but there's somebody sitting in their seat on Zoom that when they've shared, something resonates with that person and it can make a difference for them. So I look for those those kinds of things. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I think of any other <laughs> wonderful questions? Um, yeah, it's so great. So if someone wants to get a hold of you and be part of your program, what should they do? Oh, very good. Okay. Well, I'm all over social media everywhere. Sure. Okay. Um, and my email is yeathrive at gmail.com. And they can message me. And we are about to open a new course. So we do two two courses a year for YEA. We do um, a spring course, which is usually around May. And then we do a fall course, which is usually around September, October, November, right in there. We're doing it. We start tomorrow night for North America and Thursday for Team Africa. So I run two, two programs, two courses back to back um, because of the time zone differences. Okay. And so, um, but normally it's earlier in the fall, but when I travel, I have to sometimes make it later. So it's a three month course because there's usually at least one week that we have to skip because it falls on some kind of a holiday or something. Um, But yeah, uh, so they are absolutely um, allowed to come and be a part of it. And even if they couldn't make tomorrow night, if they decide that they wanted to do this and they can't make tomorrow night, Tomorrow night isn't the mandatory courses, okay, classrooms. 
tomorrow night is really and truly just an introduction for them to see whether this is what they want to do for the next nine weeks with us. Okay. Okay. And, um, and so it's Thursday. Thursday is 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for Team Africa. And I have U.S. students that they couldn't do Tuesday night, so they're doing Team Africa. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and so what I tell people is because I teach the same thing in each program, okay? I teach the same exact thing, which is the seven pillars. And the seven pillars are... And, you know, it's really, really important that people understand these pillars. Number one pillar is folk, uh, is mindset. It's a big deal whether you are operating inside of a limited mindset or a thriving mindset to move you, yourself toward your goals. Uh, number two is focus. What you focus on is what you get. Okay. Um, number three is declaration. <laughs> Speak it and make it so. <laughs> okay. And then... And then we have um, visualization. It's like your roadmap. You take it, you see the actions to take to move toward your goals and your dreams. So it's a roadmap to your future. And then we have accountability slash imperfect action. Accountability simply is having a relationship to your word, to yourself and to others. And then imperfect action, you guys take an action and perfect it along the way, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then creativity. Oh my goodness. Creativity is you getting to experience your greatness because that greatness comes out of your head and then you take action toward it and it then starts happening. You make it happen. Experiencing your greatness and then community. And I always say, Community is, is one of my biggest ones because once you can harness the power of that community, you can, you can learn how to build a community of support and resources. It's very, very powerful. Powers in numbers, especially in social media and things like that, okay? So those are the seven pillars. And I say, if you can live them, hmm, you're going to create a life that you love. And you are an example of that. I love my life. <laughs> I love what I do. And I was headed on a road that I wasn't doing something that I loved. And it would have had me be miserable in life. You know, choice is choice. And if you're headed down a road, you choose something for yourself and you're headed down a road and you're miserable, boy, take a look at that. Really take a look at that because that is life. That's your life. Mm -hmm. And if you are not happy, something's not, something's not working for you in it. Mm -hmm. Wow. So wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. And, and Crystal, I'm so excited that you are going to go on this 10 week journey. Yes, I'll be there I'm tomorrow so night. Excited. I know. So excited I'm to start on the seven pillars. And yeah, Thank and to meet these wonderful coaches that you have. And <laughs> yeah, just dive in. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, thank you so much for being my first podcast. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And Crystal, I am going to redo my podcast. I do interviews on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to start doing a podcast on YouTube again. And so I would love to have you come and be um, my guest speaker. Oh, I'd be honored. I would love I to come in. Definitely interview <laughs> you. And so that you can get it out to way, way more women, what, how you're supporting them. What yes. You're I mean, um, I've had 2,500 people from Alignable contact me to be part of this podcast. Wow. So it's wow. very much needed. There's a lot of people that want to connect to their heart. And um, oh, yeah, yeah. I can't wait for all those people that have already contacted me. <laughs> and you're going to have a way bigger community with YEA. Yes. Very shortly. A lot, a lot of women entrepreneurs in there. Awesome. 
So. All right. Well, thank you so much. And awesome. we will be in touch tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I will be seeing you tomorrow night, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Yeah. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye, you.